Hey, a pleasant good evening, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borg. If you enjoy the content, subscribe up above on the easy to use widget at the end of the video or down below right now. This is going to be a New York Islanders season preview led by the great Barry Trotz, projected by many to be first in the Metro Division because of the good, obviously great veteran presence they have on this team with their players, but plus. Good youngsters like the Oliver Wallstroms of the world mixed into the core group as well. So let's get right into it and let's get talking about this team. As well as Oliver Wallstrom, they of course got a great youngster mixed into the good veteran decor that has Andy Green and Sedano Chora as the elders leading it, as well as Adam Pellick and Ryan Pulick. You know what you're getting from them every night. And Scott Mayfield, who the Isles, y'all out there, developed into a great def defenseman that just keeps it simple, hits people, blocks shots, and plays good defense. Noah Dobson's going to be... Why, I mean, who else would you want on your line? Sedano Chora back in New York, back with the Islanders. Noah Dobson's going to get to learn from one of the best of all time. You have Corey Schneider, obviously, right now as your backup goalie to Semyon Varlamov since he is um, expected to be out day to day. But Corey Schneider did look better in the preseason. Obviously, he'll be more in the AHL or as the third goalie this year. But he did look better, and that's good success for if an injury, which does happen in net, of course, at time, does prevail for the New York Islanders. And then Ilya Sorokin, of course, 918 last year, 217 goals against, is a very good budding young goaltender to go along with Semyon Varlamov, the veteran, when everybody is healthy and everybody is in. And then the big boy also, Matt Martin, who just knows how to be physical, knows how to hit, knows how to get under anyone's skin. He is, of course, out day to day as well. And then you have Uncle Leo, Leo Kamarov, Kiefer Bellers, who's still developing as well. So I think this team has a good mix of young with the great veteran core you have in the Anders Lees of the world, the Kyle Palmieri's of the world, the Brock Nelson's of the world. They're just great leaders. The Josh Bailey's of the world, now 32 years of age. Wow. That is just the very good veteran leaders on the team that really help guide along these other players like the Wallstroms coming into the league. And you have one of the better still fourth lines. You have Ross Johnson, Casey Sezikis, one of the best actually, and Cal Cutterbuck. So you still got those guys down there. They're still going to represent. You have Matt Martin when he's in. You brought in Zach Parise, who adds a little bit to the offensive fold. But you don't even need that much more offense when everything's clicking on all cylinders for this team. Because you have Anders Lee, who can put it in the net, who wasn't even healthy fully last year. Obviously, Matthew Barzal can do it all. Kyle Palmieri can score. Bovillier can score. Josh Bailey's going to have a better season this year, I think, in terms of the goal total. And then Brock Nelson is obviously able to get going from 18 to about 20 a year. So you have the scorers here. Now you just have to be the team that everybody expects you to be, which is first place in the Metro and continue to grow and be the Islanders team in the playoffs that everybody also expects this team to be. That's obviously the next step for you all, Isles fans. You expect this team to do great things like you should in the regular season to be successful, be probably the number one team in the Metro because of Semyon Varlamov, Ilya Sorokin, because of the captain, Anders Lee, because of the great young star in Barzal, because of Bavillier actually getting going in the regular season and not just the uh, postseason for him there. So I think you're going to have all this team clicking on all cylinders. You're going to have success this year if you're an Islanders fan, and it's going to be a good team and a good, fun, successful season to follow if you're an Islanders fan like my one friend's brother is. So that is going to be all for this video. I hope you all enjoyed the Islanders season preview. I think you all definitely down below. Actually, before I go, I will say Atu Rati. You definitely have to follow to see how he does. He's gaining his confidence back. That's a guy that has potential with you, how you guys develop people to be maybe a future star. Bodie Wild, you also still have in the minors. Robin Salo on defense. So you have some guys that can come in and still get integrated into the defense as well to already help with a good overall defensive team. One of the best in hockey, honestly, in terms of defense and playing through the defense and playing playing a great 200-foot game and drawing the offense through the defense just to a very good effect and not like those Coyotes teams that were just way too overall defensive. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe down below or on the easy-to-use widget up above if you did. Enjoy the season, Islanders fans. Best of luck to you this year and enjoy the rest of the hockey season to everybody out there as well. And stay tuned for more hockey videos coming up. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.